Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will tell you about the methodology you can follow during an open source intelligence engagement. Let's talk about the first phase of OSINT, which is the understanding phase. This is when we would take steps to understand the scenario presented to us and outline the expected outcomes. Depending on the time available to perform OSINT, we can set goals for the engagement. Typically, OSINT investigations can be conducted anywhere from few days to few weeks. Next comes the preparation phase. If you haven't already set up a lab to perform OSINT, this is when you would complete that task. If you want to know more about how to set up your own OSINT lab, follow along with another video on our channel. Then, identify the various data points to collect during the engagement, based on the goals. Data points refer to the discrete pieces of information that you would collect about a target. For example, if you are investigating the Instagram profile of a target, some examples of data points are the Instagram handle, number of followers, number of pages followed, posts commented on, etc. Now that you know what data you want to collect, the next step is to collect data from various open data sources. We have another video on our channel that introduces you to the data sources for OSINT. In the next phase, the collected data must be analyzed. In this phase, it is important to keep the goals of the engagement in mind. Processing a large amount of data for something specific is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Knowing what to look for will enhance your progress. Correlate your significant findings and build intelligence about the target. All public data collected about the target must be treated as sensitive material. Although the information is publicly accessible, the entire dataset that you currently have about the target is not. It is possible for someone to misinterpret data collected about the target. Only personnel who have been cleared to perform OSINT must have access to the data. The next phase is an important one. All your findings about the target will be documented in a report. You can start off with creating the target face sheet, followed by building the entire report. You can find another video on our channel that walks you through the sections in an OSINT report. Once the reporting is complete, the OSINT activities can be finalized. Once the engagement is complete, all data about the target must either be deleted or archived securely. Now, I will give you a quick recap of the methodology you can follow to perform open source intelligence. Understand the situation presented to you and set goals for OSINT. Prepare the OSINT lab and identify the data points to be collected. Proceed to collect data. Analyze it and build intelligence. Document your findings in a professional report. Finally, close off the investigation by either archiving or deleting all data relevant to the target. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!